A volcano in Ethiopia that had been silent for nearly 10,000 years has suddenly erupted. And the entire world is now paying attention. Yes, you heard that correctly. A mountain that has slept since before the era of ancient kingdoms, long before Exum's great obelisks, long before the rise of modern Africa, has woken up with a thunderous roar, shooting towers of ash so high into the sky that particles have been traced all the way to Delhi, causing flight cancellations, global alerts, and a wave of scientific shock. Who would have imagined that a natural event deep in the Afar region, one of the world's most powerful geological crossroads, could disrupt life thousands of miles away across continents? What else is Mother Africa hiding beneath her crust, waiting to surprise the world? The eruption began early Sunday morning when the long dormant Haley Gubby volcano suddenly burst open, sending an ash plume shooting nearly 14 kilometers into the atmosphere. Residents in nearby villages said the blast felt like a bomb exploding, shaking the ground and coating their homes and grazing lands in fine gray dust. NASA satellites quickly captured the dramatic scene from space. Thick clouds of smoke billowing upward and spreading across the Red Sea, stretching over Yemen, Oman, Pakistan, and eventually drifting into northern India. Aviation authorities in India reported immediate disruptions. Air India canceled 11 flights, Akasa Air suspended routes to the Middle East, and pilots were told to avoid contaminated zones at all costs. Even Delhi, a city battling severe pollution daily, found its skies influenced by an ash cloud that originated in the Horn of Africa. How often does a volcanic rumble in Ethiopia ripple all the way to China's doorstep? And what does that say about the interconnectedness of our world today? To understand the magnitude of this eruption, it helps to know exactly what kind of sleeping giant Haley Gubby is. Located roughly 800 kilometers northeast of Addis Ababa, the volcano sits in the Afar Depression, one of the most geologically active regions on Earth where the African and Arabian tectonic plates are steadily pulling apart. This slow tearing of the Earth's crust creates a natural escape route for magma rising from deep within the mantle. Haley Gubby itself is a relatively modest-sized shield volcano marked by a symmetrical scoria cone and a wide crater surrounded by old basaltic lava flows. Scientists have long suspected it was ancient, but few imagine how ancient. Geological evidence suggests its last major eruption took place at least 12,000 years ago, long before recorded history, meaning that the explosion in 2025 is literally the first time any human being has ever witnessed this volcano erupt. What makes this event even more intriguing is how unusual the eruption style was. Shield volcanoes typically ooze lava quietly rather than blowing their tops in explosive ash plumes. But this time, the volcano launched an umbrella-shaped ash cloud nearly 14 kilometers high a sign that pressurized magma had been accumulating below the surface, possibly triggered by recent geological activity from the nearby Erta Ela volcanic system. Satellites even recorded several centimeters of ground uplift in the weeks leading up to the eruption, suggesting magma intrusions were pushing the crust upward. Could this have been a warning sign scientists missed? And if one dormant volcano in the Rift Valley can suddenly awaken after millennia, how many others are silently storing their energy beneath Africa's shifting plates? The effects of the eruption have been felt both near and far. In Ethiopia, no casualties have been reported, but the ash has blanketed grazing lands, threatening livestock and the livelihoods of herding communities. Villagers have been evacuated from areas closest to the fissures as officials monitor for gas emissions or potential lava flows. In the air, however, the consequences have been more severe. Ash clouds are no joke. Their microscopic particles can shred aircraft engines, reduce visibility, contaminate runways, and even interfere with satellite signals. That is why India's Directorate General of Civil Aviation issued an urgent advisory for pilots to immediately report any ash encounters, unusual engine behavior, or cabin odors. The uncertainty around the level of contamination has kept regulators on high alert, 
with weather agencies admitting they had no time to deploy sensors before the eruption. Meanwhile, the ash cloud continues drifting eastward, with meteorologists predicting it will soon sweep toward parts of China. How far can one volcanic blast travel, and how long will the atmosphere take to clear itself of these particles? Beyond the immediate disruption, experts are now asking a bigger, more unsettling question. What does this mean for the many other dormant volcanoes scattered across Africa? It is a powerful reminder that the East African Rift is far more active, unpredictable, and influential than many assume. It signals that dormant volcanoes across the region may not be as dormant as once believed, highlights the continent's ongoing geological transformation as tectonic plates pull apart, and exposes how even remote eruptions can disrupt global systems, from aviation routes in India to satellite operations across continents. Indeed, if Haley Gubby can erupt after 10 millennia of silence, are we entering a new phase of volcanic awakening along the rift? Could more eruptions follow, perhaps not tomorrow, but in our lifetime? And if ash from Ethiopia can shut down flights in India, what happens if two or three major volcanoes erupt simultaneously? As the dust settles, both figuratively and literally, one thing is clear. Africa is reminding the world of its immense natural power. A volcano in Ethiopia has forced international airlines, meteorological departments, and governments across Asia to scramble. It has shown that the continent is not a passive landscape, but a living, breathing geological force capable of reshaping global systems in a single day. And perhaps the real question we should be asking is this. If the earth beneath Africa is awakening, are we truly prepared for what comes next? Your perspective matters. What do you make of this volcanic eruption in Ethiopia that is spreading ash and smoke across continents? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the New Africa channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.